In this video, I'll show you how to make macros in Blackmagic ATEM software control so that you can trigger multiple actions with just one click. Stick around. Thanks for checking out Church Media Pro. My name is Aaron Ward. If you're a Church Media Pro like myself, a media volunteer at your church, or just getting started in the world of church media, make sure to introduce yourself in the comments and click the subscribe button to be a part of the Church Media Pro community. We've also got an active group of Church Media Pros over in Facebook. There's a link below that will connect you to the Church Media Pro Facebook group, where you can ask questions of myself and your peers any time of the day. There are many applications for creating macros for your video switcher. The most common is making sure to switch from a graphic source to the correct camera while simultaneously triggering audio on and a luma key for a graphic overlay at the beginning of a live streamed worship service. Creating macros in Blackmagic ATEM software control is extremely easy when setting up simple transitions and can be extremely powerful if you want to create custom fades. The first step is to go to the macros tab in the ATEM software control menu bar. When you click that menu item, a macros window will pop up on your screen. Click the create button on the top of the macros window to get started. Click a blank cell in the macros window, then hit the plus button. Here's where you name your macro and can add notes to its description. I'm going to call mine opening and click record. When we launch our live stream at my church, because we're broadcasting to Facebook as well as our website, we have the audio muted so that we're not broadcasting copywritten iTunes or Spotify music that could potentially get our live stream blocked on Facebook. So the first thing I need to do when we go live with our service is to unmute the audio from camera one that carries our audio from the front of house console. I'll go to the audio tab in the switcher for this and click the on button below the camera one audio channel. The next thing I want to record for this macro is a camera switch from our graphic computer to our manned main camera, which in our case is camera one. For this, I'll go back to the switcher tab, click cam one in the preview tab, and then click auto to make the switch to camera one. Lastly, I want to make sure that on air is enabled as I want my lyrics from ProPresenter to overlay on top of my live video so those watching can sing along. Now that I've selected those three functions, I can click the record button again to write this macro. To test this macro to make sure it worked, I'll switch to the Run tab in the Macros window. I'll click the Recall and Run button so that each macro is done with one click instead of clicking and then having to hit the Play button. Since I have a camera switch as well as an audio switch, I'll test the macro in both tabs to make sure everything is working as expected. It's as simple as that. I've created a simple macro that accomplishes three functions with one click. Now, if I could only perform an audio fade instead of a hard audio on. Well, this is possible, but in order to do so, I need to edit the XML file or code that the software is reading to perform the macro. Whether you know it or not, the ATEM switcher is auto-saving an XML file regularly on your computer so that it recalls in the same state that you left it in when you open and close the application. To edit a macro, all you have to do is go to the file menu on the ATEM software control and click save as. A window will pop up and you'll be prompted to name your saved file and designate a destination. I'm going to name my XML to day's date and save it to the desktop for easy recall. After you click save, you'll be asked to designate what you'd like to save to the XML. I'm going to click select none to deselect all the parameters available then click macro as it's the only thing I want to save at this time. In order to edit an XML, you'll need to download an editor that will open an XML file. My favorite is Atom, which you can download for free at the link in the description below. When you've got it downloaded, open up your saved XML after creating your macro. Next, find the macro pool. If you select the top right cell in the macro window, your macro index will be zero. Depending on the order in which you click the buttons to make your macro, you will see different text in your editor. Find the text that says audio mixer input mix type. It should say input and the camera you're receiving audio from, as well as mix type on. If you'd like to create a fade from negative infinity to zero dB, you wanna type in the following, audio mixer input gain input equals the camera you're getting audio from and gain equals zero. Then you want to hit enter and type in the next line macro sleep frames equals two. 
This is how you tell the software to wait or sleep before completing the next action, and it's how you create a smooth fade on your audio channel. Now copy and paste these two lines six more times and replace zero with the following in order. 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, 25,000, and lastly, 32,768, which is zero dB on the audio channel. Now go to the file menu at the top of your editor and click save. You can name the file something new or you can keep it the same. Next go back to your ATEM software control and click file restore. Find your XML file and click restore. Make sure macro is selected in the next screen and again click restore. Now if you type everything correctly, when you go to the audio tab and run the opening macro, you should see a nice quick fade from negative infinity to zero dB. If you didn't type it correctly, don't worry. I've typed it out for you. In the description below, I've made a link to my blog where you can copy the correct text and paste it into your XML editor. As you can see, macros in your ATEM software control can save you a lot of time and some headaches when training your volunteers to switch your live stream. As always, links to all the gear and software I talk about in this video are in the description. Please don't hesitate to ask questions in the comments. I'm here to help you and your team become better church media pros. Before clicking to the next video, please subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with new Church Media Pro videos. Also make sure to reach out next time your church is remodeling or upgrading media gear and ask about my headache and budget savings consultation guarantee. Thanks for watching.